Hey guys, welcome to Console Crap. I thank you for joining us, but you really should be thanking me because I'm warning you guys off all the games in the retro gaming industry that are an absolute abomination. And today for our first episode, we're going to be playing the Atari 2600 version of Double Dragon released by Activision in 1989. Now, you know, as you know, there was a big video game crash between 1983 and 1985. And Atari 2600 were a big part of that for not evolving E.T. And somehow after that was all said and done, they seemed to survive the nuclear fallout and they decided it was a good idea to bring out more games going up into the early 90s. And here we go, we have Double Dragon 1989. And it's god-awful, guys. I just don't know what they were thinking. Some games just should not be ported, especially with 1970s technology. Now look, the first problem starts with a box art. Have a look at this. Now, you have seen Billy Lee, Jimmy Lee, and many other versions of Double Dragon before this, and you know, they look like the nice young 20-something tough guys, you know, they kind of look like the guys that the girls would probably chase after too. These guys look like failed rejects from the WWF, and it looks like Vince McMahon fired them for failing the wellness policy in the 80s. Wait, there was no wellness policy in the 80s. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to play the game now, and it looks bad, but we're going to see if it plays bad, and I promise you it does, but I'm going to at least give you the chance to see for yourselves. We're just going to play a regular game here. You do have three options on the Atari 2600. As for the controls, well, it's Atari, so you just have a joystick and one button. That's a problem straight away, because in all the console versions of Double Dragon... You have the option of a punch, a kick, and to do dual moves by pressing both together. So, the lack of freedom here shows straight away. And the difficulty feels incredibly tough as well. Like, no matter what you do, it seems like you're just going to be absolutely the victim of an onslaught of one of these ugly looking stick men. I don't even know what the hell character this is supposed to be. And, um, I'll tell you right now, my character Billy Lee looks nothing like the box art, that's for sure. Anyway, you might think for an Atari 2600 game, you know what, the melody is not that bad. Granted, the first time you hear it, it's actually pretty good. But uh, by the time you've heard it for the hundredth time, on this seamless loop that it has, uh, you're going to want to kill yourself. Anyway, as for the button combinations, as you can see, you're pretty limited just having the one button and a joystick. Um, but holding the joystick in a certain direction and pressing the attack button will pull off an according move, whether it's an elbow, a punch, a kick. Um, it's not as sweet as what it sounds. Half the time you're not doing what you're actually trying to do. I find the only way I can survive for more than five minutes if I, is if I spam attack this jump kick, which is incredibly annoying because it's just such, it's just so one directional and uninspired. And uh, you know what? The one good thing is for a, a game that came out in the 70s. I suppose the locations look okay. I mean, I wouldn't expect Atari to be able to do uh, a backdrop like it has here, but that's really not saying much. Come on, we're already in the 16-bit industry here. And uh, in the end, we're still fighting Stickmen. And what the hell, guys? I, I lasted a whole five... I think my introduction lasted longer in this game. I don't care how much of a fan you are of Double Dragon, you guys have to stay away from this. It's a pile of crap, and... Atari 2600, you should have just let your system die in 1985 with the video game industry.